hello guys we are back again with another video how are you all doing welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Lillian if you are a returning subscriber you're highly highly welcome and today we have another special guest in the building and I'm here to present her to you guys so I'm gonna be asking her some questions and then she'll answer them right now so come we meet you beautiful okay i'm here <laughs> welcome to my channel please. thank you thank you for the invite <laughs> thank yes. you how are you doing i'm good i'm good please. Today. okay please can we meet you can you tell us about you where you're from okay uh, my name is vaughn burns i am from seattle washington in, um, in the u.s um i moved to ghana last year in june i've been visiting here since ideas on how some things are done here from my previous visits but um, I just came and and now I'm, I'm just trying to do the best I can to survive and I'm loving it here no I'm not trying to go back <laughs> so I'm doing my hardest to make sure I make it work for me good yeah. are you like um, any chance like are you african-american or Ghanaian American which one are you so I did the uh, DNA testing and it said I was 78% Western African and um, actually said Nigeria was the highest number and then it was Ghana and then all the other ones up below it but for me I'm, I'm Ghana <laughs> right <You know? laughs> so uh, you have Nigeria is the highest in your DNA right. test, the highest percentage right correct so why didn't you think of going to Nigeria? Did you know about Nigeria before now? So no, I've never been to Nigeria, but what, but what made me even want to visit this side of the world was I used to get my hair done by this lady from Senegal and she would show the Nigerian Ghanaian movies. And I'm watching them and I'm asking her, where are they filming these movies at? Because this is not the Africa that I know, you know, or that I've seen. And she's like, no, that's Nigeria, or no, that's Ghana. And so I'm like, okay, uh, well, I'm gonna have to go visit there, you know. And so I never got to Nigeria yet. I tried to go at one point, and they wouldn't give me a visa. So, but now that I'm here, I have residency, and I got all this stuff going on. So it's easier for me to to make some movement on that side of the town. There's something you said that caught my attention. Right. Uh, you said this is not the Africa, you know. No. How do you mean by that? Like, because you think in the U.S. they don't show us all this. We don't get this, like how what's really here. So on the news or on TV, even in some of the movies, you know, um, even like the movies they show Blood Diamond or those types of movies, we're seeing the rough side of it. We're not seeing the glory side because there is glory here. You know, it's beautiful here. And so we hear about the lions, um, walking around with the the the, uh, the 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 local clothes with I mean the cloths and mm. with the machetes in the hands and you know pulling a, a, a elephant behind them or something mm. like that mm. you know that's the kind of stuff that we see and or we hear how poor it is and if we come here it's going to be hard for us to live because the conditions are really bad so like I said when I'm in the, I seen the movies I ask where are they filming this because this is not what I know this is not what they've been showing me. So when I came here and I actually seen it, um, I was amazed. It, it surprised me because I, I came in at nighttime and I seen the goat. And I said, oh my God, somebody's goat and got away. They're like, no, like they just run free, you know? I'm like, wow, that was very interesting. So um, just seeing how things are here, which is so different from the U.S. and definitely different from what we were told, mm, you know? About Africa. About Africa. So yeah, it's, it's amazing. And so I try to get as many people here as possible. Mm. So, what part of America are you from? What state are you from? Washington State. Okay. Washington State, next to Canada. Way okay. up on the other side of the world. Right. <laughs> and then there's Washington <laughs> here, then there's New York here, you know, so like, like, you know, all the way on the other side, and then there's, there's, there's Ghana, Africa, so, mm. yeah. And you just got up. This is the interesting part for me right now. Mm -hmm. How did you decide to put milk and honey behind you <laughs> pack your bags and head straight to Africa despite all the stories that you have been told about Africa okay so in 2014 I um, 
I came. I knew I wanted to come visit. I just wasn't sure how I was gonna get make that happen. I was, and I've always traveled by myself, so I wasn't really scared to come here by myself. But um, I knew that it'd be easier if I had somebody to help me. So I met somebody online. They invited me to come. I came here, and from that first visit, I realized this is where I want to be. And I didn't realize I didn't realize I didn't realize how bad I wanted to be here until after um, a few years. Because when I would go back. I would be depressed and I didn't know why. I didn't understand why. And then after my third visit, I realized that that depression that I was feeling it only happened, only came when I would return back to the US. So I knew that, okay, yeah, Ghana is calling me. This is where I want to be. And I kept telling everybody, I'm going to move, I'm going to move to Ghana. And they're like, yeah, when? I'm like, I don't know when yet, but you know, it's going to happen. I feel it in my bones. Like I feel it in my soul. Like that's where I'm going to be. And, and then last year, uh, I was at work and I was sitting at the stoplight and God was like, girl, let's go. It's time for you to get out of here. Mm. It's time to go. And, and you just it, packed your bags. I, was, I called my daughter and said, I'm selling my house and I'm going. They're like, what you going to do there? I said, I don't even know. But here is not where I'm supposed to be. So here I am, just, just trying to make it work for me, you know. Um, welcome to Africa. Well, thank you very much. You sold your house, you gave up everything, your cars, everything, mm -hmm. then moved to Ghana. Mm -hmm. What is that regret? One thing that you wish you knew before you do this? Do you have any regret? So the one thing I wish I knew before I came was to not sell some things that I sold. Because people ask, well, should I leave this behind? Should I leave that behind? What about my electric stuff? And that was, that, there's a, and I, so what I tell people now, if you're gonna pay for a space, bring everything that you can bring, everything that you want. Because when you get here, what you, then at that point in time, you can go through and figure out what you want to keep and what you don't. You can either give it away or you can sell it because everything is sellable here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and then as far as electrical stuff, if you're coming here and you're buying or you're building, you can put in US sockets. Mm -hmm to plug in the US voltage. Mm. So you don't have to leave anything behind. Okay. So my regret was that I got rid of a lot of stuff because now I'm like, oh, I need my lawnmower. Oh, I need my weed eater. Oh, I need my ladder. You know, like, I didn't think about those things coming. And now, I, that, so for me, like, that's really just really my own regret because I'm happy to be here. That there's, I don't feel bad about being here and leaving anything behind. I have kids, but they're all grown. Mm. And video call <laughs> you are welcome to Ghana okay I'm glad you said you love it here you feel at home you don't have any problem um, there's something I wanted to know like do you are you like I ask this question all the time are you concerned about the head care system in Africa should you need need it I'm are sorry am I concerned about what now yeah, are you concerned about the head care system in Africa like does it but does it bother you that if, if you're feeling sick? The health care. Yeah. Will you, does it bother um, you? So to be honest with you, I didn't even think about that coming. I really didn't. But since I've been here, I, mean, I don't really have any health issues. Thank God I don't. Um, other than just you know high blood pressure. But that's manageable. And small little other things which is manageable. But um, I know one of my daughters, she told me, Mom, when you get older and you start needing more and needing real health care, you got to come back to the U.S. But I don't know. Like, I just, for me, I, I just take it as it comes. Yeah, it, there'll be no need for you to go back to right, the U.S. You, you know, have I'll, everything you need here. Right, you know, I'll I take actually it. ask that because, um, you know, it's what, part of the things that people tell, you know, Africans. They tell, oh, no, part of the things that Americans tell their citizens about Africa to mm -hmm. be where there are no good health care systems you're gonna have malaria you're gonna die oh you know. yeah I've so all that. i'm always like you know i want to know that aspect but i'm glad you have perfect answer okay yeah. so now that you're in ghana what do you do in ghana to keep body and soul together going um well you know one thing that i enjoy i enjoy dancing and i'm listening to music i like to sing i like to do karaoke i tell folks i'm not no singer but if i'm karaoke and then you give me a mic i'm the, the, I'm, the I'm a superstar Yay. you know so <laughs> but you know i that keeps me grounded sometimes you know i do that um if i might have to get on the phone call i mean on the phone and call somebody and talk to somebody that might keep me grounded 
Um, but I just, you know, I pray a lot, you know, and I talk to God a lot, and that just, you know, keeps me sane. I try not to stress about stuff I can't, I can't fix. Mm -hmm. If it's something I can't fix until tomorrow, I'll worry about it tomorrow. Exactly. Yeah. So you are okay in Ghana. You are happy. I am. You don't miss America, do not you? At, at some point, not at all. like, oh my God, I <laughs> wish. No. I... I made one video. I said, everybody asked me, do I miss? Ghana? I mean, I miss America. I don't. The only thing I miss is wearing a hoodie and my jeans because so it's too hot here for that. <laughs> so she don't miss you guys, okay? All our friends in this video. <laughs> So I know you have a um, couple of businesses that you run in Ghana here. Mm -hmm. Can you throw more light on that here? Sure. Um, you know, coming here trying to start a business is not easy, especially as an American, because um, there's a lot of things we have to jump through, a lot of hoops we have to jump to just to even run a business here. But it's doable, you know. And, and so for myself, I'm, I'm still just trying to get started. Um, we have the 360 photo booth that we have that we use for, we rent out, people can use for events, birthday parties, anniversaries, graduations. Yeah, sorry, that is going to be in one of the vlogs, you know, it's going to be in one of my vlogs. I'm going to show you guys about that, okay, what she's talking about. So <laughs> please, <laughs> sorry to cut you short. Oh, that's fine. You know. So we have, we have that. Um, we also do, um, we have the drone where we go around and we take the aerial views hmm. for people's properties in their hmm. homes or their building and stuff that that people can have for their their own advertisement or just to keep track of what's going on with their properties um, so we do that um, we also pick up um, expats when they're coming into Ghana we pick them up from the airport we transport them to wherever they want to go if they need rides and drivers throughout the their stay then we we do that as well a little, little, another little side hustle I do every now and then. I do the pineapple ginger. I make myself mm. fresh, no added waters, no sugars, all that kind of stuff. So it's all natural. Um, so that's pretty much it. And then, like when the weather's getting better, now it's not the rain is not no more. Mm. Um, we show movies. We have the projector right here. We show movies outside. Charge okay. twenty CDs per oh, person, really? and we show like. We're oh, they come to watch like football. No, no, it's a projector screen. We okay, set up so, outside mm, at night and put yeah. the projector and they can sit out here in the chairs or on the front. Oh, and really? Watch yeah, movies. in uh -huh. here. Inside. Yeah. Wow. Right, right. That's, you're a hustler. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you are Igbo from Nigeria, you know. I know. <laughs> no, that's what they said. Right. They said you that know? was. That, that's what they said. Mm. I was from that, that region, Ibo. Is that right? You could be Ibo. Like that's what this, it said. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's plainly said Ibo. Uh, right? Yes. It Look did. at this it business ideas. You know, I've been in Ghana for a while now. And I am yet to figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. And here you are with all of these and you're pulling it up. Uh, we're trying. <laughs> we're trying. We're trying. We even, I even have the, um, what is that? The, um, the Oculus. Okay. 360 the, the mm -hmm. virtual reality. I think I see that uh, 3D that people used uh -huh. to watch. So yeah, yeah. Just, I have I have stuff on it for exercising because I, okay. I like to exercise. We do. I have a, a mini gym in the back of the house, and so but you can do boxing. You can do these games, and everything is all physical. So you're you're working out without even working out. You know, so I, we have that as well. That we're we're we just we're waiting on our building to get done so we can just put everything together. So. Okay, so you're building a house somewhere? I'm building a house, and on top of the house, we're having a gym built on top of that. So it's going to be the gym. We're going to do the Oculus stuff. We'll be setting up our 360 if people want to come there and do it. We got all kind of plans for that stuff over there, too. So it's, 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 it's going to be crazy. And um, ladies and gentlemen, she's building an Airbnb. Show more am. light, please. Right. Uh, so on, in the western part, we have an Airbnb built, being built right now. It should be done in a few months. So we're excited about that. Even the house we're building, is, one of the rooms is, has its own entrance for Airbnb as well hmm. for that. And then... Yeah, we, we just we just got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, so we just we just trying to right. We're just trying to make yeah. it work, yeah. you know. <laughs> Good. Right, where we can get our foot in, we're we're there. We're just doing it. So we actually need more people like you to come back to Africa and enjoy their stay here. Right. I'm glad you're enjoying your stay. So you've been in Ghana for like almost is it up a to year, a year? A year and a half. Okay, good. A year and a half. Mm -hmm. And you've got your 
Residency. I had that, right? Okay. So you're now Ghanaian, Ghanaian American. All uh, right, right. <laughs> so I have my residency. I have my driver's license because I drive myself here. Like I said, I'd be picking people up. Um, I work. Per I have like you know everything I really need. Okay. So where have you traveled to within the country? I haven't. That's, you haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Like I just been here. Like I haven't really been trying to spend no money. We. I just been trying to just see what's going on here. Um. And, but traveling is coming next. You know, we just want to get everything done and get finished so that way we can relax when everything is settled. Mm. Then we'll start trying to get out and visit some other places. So. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, have you tried like the Ghanaian foods here? Like, uh, a little there's bit? There's some. There's some I like. I like the jollof rice. I like the um, red red. I like the rice bowls. I do. I'm not a fufu fan. Oh, right. <laughs> Almost everybody, including me. I, I like fufu, but I don't want to see the process mm. of making it. No, I don't. I'm it not. me off, no. right? That part don't bother me. I, I'm just, I'm just. Okay, you just don't like it. Nuh -uh. So Nuh -uh. you've tried this Ghanaian food. Mm -hmm. So do you have like, um, what's your favorite thing about Ghana? Um, The freedom. The freedom. I tell people that they don't understand how free they are here compared to America. Really? America has too many rules. Okay, a lot of us are dreaming, a lot of young Africans, <laughs> myself included, mm -hmm. dreaming of, you know, that American dream life. We want to go there, we want to make all the money because we believe there's a lot of money to right. be made there. And um, do you have any advice for us? I mean, I'm not, I, I don't want to tell nobody not to go because it's a beautiful country and you can make money, especially when you exchange it to here, you, you do have money. Um, but it's a lot of racist racism there um, for us black folks it's not easy um, so I, I mean if you want to go 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 visit you know see what it's like see what make it what you could do to make it work for you because uh, everybody's different you know some people go and they're just strictly there for that one thing just try to get some money and, and mm. bring it back home mm. and then there's people that go there and they get caught up Mm, mm. with the American ways mm. and they lose sight sometimes and then they get stuck there. There's some people that get stuck there and they can't come back because they, didn't, they owe money. Mm. Um, they have babies with, the men have babies with women and they try to give them child support. Now you can't leave the country because you owe child support. Yes. Now you're stuck there, yes. you know. So, you know, I just say if you go, go and see what works for you and if you're really serious just trying to make some money and come back then, then go do that and then come back. Okay. And, Thank you so much for coming on my channel. I oh, really, really appreciate it. Of course, thank you, thank so you for the So, do you speak like a bit of tree, no, like a little not. bit? Like, I can say the hi. Yeah, okay, please. <laughs> can you say that? Say, say it. No, you have to say hi to me first. <laughs> okay, how do I say it? Um, bro, help me, brother, help me. How do I say, um, how do I grade? At the same. At the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and the pacho, at the same. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> You even uh, sound even better than me. Uh, <laughs> I'm a Nigerian just here, and I've been in Ghana off and on, and I'm here. I can't even speak a word. I think uh, that me pacho. Yeah, am I, I, I even say correct? Matty, like you know. Uh, right. um, 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 thank you. I can't even say thank you now. Uh, um, you, you can remember? Okay, let me whisper. Madasi. <laughs> Madasi, <laughs> papa. <laughs> this is how okay so so guys this is how we're ending the interview okay <laughs> stay tuned another video is coming because she has something that she is willing to share with the world and <laughs> it's going to inspire you myself i'm already inspired so please don't go nowhere okay hit the subscription button turn on the bell and then stay tuned i'll see you in my next one <laughs> bye everyone bye <laughs>